Where did you live first in the U.S. and why there? I first settled at my grandfather's house on my father's side because my father was living there at the time. So who took care of you? My grandmother took care of me because she wasn't working at the time, so she was, she was able to take care of me while everybody was out. Was it easy or hard for you to adjust to life in the U.S.? Not at all, because my cousins were always there to support me. What was your first day of school like? I was actually completely lost. I was lost because after the first bell rang, everybody knew where they were going, and I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> I just looked around, and I actually was lucky enough to find an office, and they guided me back to where I was supposed to go. What was it like making friends for you in the U.S.? It wasn't so hard because there was a lot of school activities and those activities actually brought us together. The only difficult thing for me was actually um, speaking back to the other students because I wasn't really that good in speaking English but I was getting better and better at it every day. Did you experience any hardships here in the U.S.? Um, yes, because I wasn't really that close with my father. We were living in the Philippines and he was already here in the U.S. So we pretty much had a long distance relationship. But when I arrived here in the U.S., we didn't get to spend that much time. Unfortunately, he died two years later due to liver failure. So when you moved to the U.S., were you able to maintain your Filipino culture and your language? Well, Filipino families raise their children very strict. And so we're taught to respect our elders. And that never left me. As for my native language, we always speak it at home. So that's something I'll never forget.